Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a good Sunday morning so far. Breathe in Jesus. Breathe out fear. Breathe in Yahweh. Breathe out self, pride, exhaustion, autism, drama. Breathe it all out. So I hope and pray you all are doing good. Um, thank you for those of you that have been praying for me. We went to Yellowstone and it was absolutely beautiful, breathtaking, but it was not without hiccups and difficulties. Um, you know what's so funny is I just I just love how the Lord always like flips the script, right? So I was scared to go, to be honest with you, and we almost canceled because of Isaac's behaviors lately had been pretty intense. And so Chuck said, should we cancel? And I'm like, let's pray about that. Maybe we shouldn't go. Maybe we're using wisdom. Maybe we'll just do something closer or don't do anything, right? So we prayed and prayed and we were like, no, we booked our trip. We booked a cabin. Like, let's just, you know, continue with our original plan. So Isaac actually did very well on the trip, but we had a tire blowout. I had a dizzy and it, I fainted one day in the cabin at 6 a.m. on Monday morning. And, um, you know, there was some spiritual warfare. There was arguments. There was disagreements. There was tension. You know, on our very first day that we were going to go into Yellowstone National Park, there was buffalo crossing the road and we were in this line for like two hours and we, we we just kept going round and around in our head should we just turn around and go back to the cabin like we're in the hot sun we're just waiting to like we're, we're in the national park but we're just like feeling like we're in LA you know so that was an attack but finally we got through the herd of buffaloes and you know the Yellowstone um, waterfall is just breathtaking it's something to behold. So long story short, um, there's been more attacks this week. And I won't get into all that. This is not about poor me, oh, poor me, oh my. But I'm sharing all this because I just keep thinking the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. So I just want to be real and honest with you all before we pray. That the other day I got on my knees and I said, Lord... I don't want to be a warrior anymore. I'm tired. I just want to be a little girl in your arms. Can I just be your daughter? You know, it's exhausting. Um, it's, it's just been really hard lately on various fronts. And so yesterday, by the grace of God, the Lord had allowed me to share at a women's event at Calvary Chapel, Pomona Valley. For those of you that were there, I love you and I praise God for you. And it was just such a sweet, sweet, refreshing, wonderful time. But I didn't feel like I had it. I felt very weak. I felt very tired. I was fatigued. I didn't sleep very well the night before. And so friends and family, I just want you to know that when a pastor goes up there or a women's event speaker or a little devotion at a couple's event, you know, there's so much warfare in the background before someone gets up there to talk, you know, and even pastors that have done it day after day, year after year. I was just watching a message yesterday of Dr. Charles Stanley, and I love him. He's in heaven now. And I thought, man, this man is so, well, he's in heaven, but he so faithfully preached God's word Sunday after Sunday. I don't know if they had midweek service, but, and we got to see him on TV and the fruit of Charles Stanley's ministry for years I read his one year Bible with his comments in it I love Dr. Charles Stanley but I just felt like the Lord gave me like a, a, a pea-sized view of the warfare that comes you know when you're involved in ministry and it doesn't have to be a scene ministry you could be an usher at your church you could be in the children's ministry you could be at home you know I think of my beloved Shami who morning, noon, and night takes care of her husband, Yoon. She's in a very unseen ministry tending to her husband. I have friends that can't go to church. They can't work. They're just round the clock watching, care for, caregiving for autistic adults or autistic children or people with Parkinson's dementia, you name it. So, 
spiritual warfare is real. All that's to say, spiritual warfare is real. But um, let's just keep going, you guys. Let's just keep going. You know, the Lord is the author and perfecter of our faith. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you know what? I have a list of prayer needs as you do, but I just feel like this moment right now should be worship. So let's just get into some worship. Let's pray prayers of thanksgiving and we can save the intercession for another time. So let's pray. Father, I thank you for this pray with me opportunity, God. Um, I am so thankful that you called me your own. I am so thankful that I'm your daughter. I'm thinking of that song. Mama, I am chosen. No, we're going home. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say that I am. Lord, you are the great I am. A mighty fortress is our God. The great I am. Everlasting Father. Prince of peace. Ancient of days. Just judge. Holy one of Israel. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You are our bridegroom. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the light of the world. You are the door of the sheep. You are the good shepherd. You lay down your life for the sheep. You're the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Hallelujah. You are the true vine and we are the branches. You are the holy one of Israel. You are Yahweh Mekadisham, the Lord who sanctifies us. We're going home. You are Jehovah Nisi, the Lord by God. Going home. Not it's I don't have a birthday. It's time to go home. Friend's birthday. I don't know. I didn't see that. Friend's birthday. Bye. Not your friend's birthday. I'm, I'm so birthday. sorry. I'm a birthday on TV. Let's go home. Donut. Too. I don't have a donut. We'll go home and go swimming, and then worship phone, and then subway. Father, you are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the wonder-working God. You're our wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Emmanuel, Yahweh Sabaoth, the Lord of Hosts, our battle fighter, the captain of the heavenly hosts' armies. You are greater than the angels. You are greater than your very own creation. Elohim is your name. Father, Abba, Daddy is your name. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God Almighty is your name. You are El, the strong one. You are Al Shaddai, God of the mountains. You are El Elyon, God most high. You are exalted, majestic, glorious, beautiful. The Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valley, the bright and morning star, our soon and coming King. Great is your faithfulness unto me. Great is your faithfulness unto us. You are Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth, Yeshua, Messiah, Christos, Jesus Christ, Jesus is el Señor, Jesus is the Lord, you are the Lord of all lords, You, the government is on your shoulders, Lord, we don't have to fear earthly governments, we don't have to fear a thing, you are Jehovah Rapha, healer, Jehovah Jireh, provider, Jehovah, I am, Jehovah Yahweh, I am that I am. <sighs> Al Roy, the God who sees. Jehovah Suri, the Lord is our rock. All of these things and more. Al Emunah, faithful God. You are good. You are a good God. Faithful to the end. You are the one that was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for you, for our peace, and by your stripes were healed. You took away our sins at Calvary. You take away our shame. You promise that you're the resurrection and the life, and that where you are, we will be. You're the great carpenter, the architect, the author, the perfecter, the calmer of the storms. You raise people from the dead you heal you restore you redeem you love lavishly you are not anxious you have no blemish you are great and greatly to be praised we give you highest praises not itty bitty cute kindergarten praises we give you our highest and best praise all that is within us we bless your holy name 
Thank you for loving us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for lifting us up out of that miry clay. Thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You're my glory and the lifter of my head, my rock, my fortress, my refuge, my impregnable tower, my castle, my comfort. You are the comforter. Holy Spirit, you're the paracletus. Holy Spirit, you're our guide, our searchlight. Thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. You are the one who was and is and is to come. By him, all things were made and without him, nothing was made that was made. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word dwelt amongst men. The light came into the world, but the world hated the light and preferred darkness. Oh, Lord God, may we never prefer darkness. You are the one that healed the demon-possessed. You healed the blind, the lame. You healed the woman with the issue of blood. You changed the Samaritan woman and made her a woman of many husbands to a daughter of the Most High God, hallelujah. You took the broken and you put them in families. You took the orphan and gave them families. You made the barren womb open and leap with joy to have children. You took the dead womb of Sarah. You changed your name from Sarai to Sarah and made her a mother of nations. You took Job and you restored all of the things that the locusts had eaten. The word says in Job, that his latter days were better than the beginning. And he said, I know that my Redeemer lives. You're the bridegroom. John the Baptist said, how can, we, how can we not rejoice when the bridegroom is here? You're the one whose sandal strap were not worthy to unfasten. You washed the disciples' feet. You, you raised up the heads of the weak and the weary. Those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength and rise up with wings like eagles, running not weary, walking not faint. You are the one that takes the wounded and binds up the wounds because you're the balm in Gilead. You're our medicine, Jesus, our medicine. You made the blind to see, Lord. You're our eyes, Jesus. Help us to filter this world and our trials and the, everything we go through, our daily, daily life struggles. Through the lens of your eyes, Jesus, give us eternal perspective for your El Olam, eternal God. You're the creator, the sustainer of life. You make the sun rise in the morning and the moon at night. You set the stars in space. Every one of them has a name and they're numbered by you, O oh God. Behold, I formed you in your mother's womb, you said in Psalm 139. Thank you, God, for giving us prophets and teachers and leaders and gifting us with the Holy Spirit so we're not floundering like orphans, begging bread and not knowing what to do. You left us with your love letter, Lord, your word from Genesis to Revelation, the Psalms, the Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, all of the books of the law, God, Acts and Romans and Corinthians and Galatians and Ephesians and Titus and Philemon and every single book is given for our admonition. Thank you, God. Thank you for the psalmist, David. The, thank you that he said, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in me. Thank you for Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Thank you for your provision, God. Thank you, Jesus, for teaching the disciples how to pray. Our Amen. Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And dear God Almighty, lead us not into temptation. They're everywhere. But deliver us from evil. For yours, King Jesus, is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen, amen, and amen. You're the merciful God. You're a priest that looks at us and you know what it's like. You're not a priest that is in your high tower uh, who's never suffered. You know what it's like to suffer. You know what it's like to weep. Jesus wept the shortest, most profound verse of the Bible that my God, my King, the maker of heaven and earth would condescend, become a man and allow his tear ducts to be filled with water because your best friend Lazarus died. You feel our pain. You're acquainted with grief. And we praise this great triune God. How could we ever know you? We never could. 
Only you, because of Jesus like, Christ. Uh, Only because of the blood. What could wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. We're thankful, Lord. Enlarge our heart with more gratitude. Pained, yes. Difficult, yes. Struck down, but not destroyed. In the name of Yeshua, Yahweh of hosts, our God, our King, our Lord. Save souls today, Lord Jesus. I pray for these people at this soccer field. I pray for the people at the other park. I pray for these cars parked, for the adults, for these people in the shade. May they know the shade of your love, for your word says. He who abides in the secret place of the Most High and dwells in the shadow of the Almighty. He will find his comfort and his rest and his peace and his coolness in the day and warmth at night. You and you alone, comforter. You are the great comforter. You are the high and lifted up one, the lofty one. Nobody could ever know you. How unsearchable are your riches and your ways past finding out. So I pray over each and every one of us right now, God. That you would help us to walk worthy of you, Lord, fully pleasing you and increasing in the knowledge of God. Increase our mental capacity to understand you. Increase our heart to love you. Increase our fingertips to embrace you. Use our hands, our feet, our wills, our words, our Facebook, Instagram, emails, text messages, our mouths to praise you, to be used by you, God. May we be your vessels of honor until you come home, call us home or we go home. In Jesus' precious name, we praise. In Jesus' precious name, we give thanks. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. God bless you guys.